Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, I am the IT Geek. So this is the start of a brand new series. Um, for those of you who are tuning in, you'll know that um, I'm starting a new, uh, bit of a different video series. Uh, it's a collaborative series and it's a zero to hero series. Despite what I tweeted out the other day, it's not hero to zero, but if there is a strong enough uh, requirement for that, I can do that as well. Um, yeah, so this is um, something new, a bit of different content. And um, as I said, it's going to be a collaboration. So what I'd like to do now is um, introduce who I will be collaborating with. Hi, Simon. Hi, Shabazz. How are you? I'm not bad, my friend. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Excellent. Um, if you don't mind, mate, if you could just tell us a bit about yourself for those who might not know who you are or might just know you from, from Twitter. Just give sure. Me a bit of please, mate. Sure. So I'm, I'm Simon. I'm on Twitter at, at Smoon underscore Lee. Um, I've been in the IT game for about eight years. Predominantly, that's been around sort of MSPs in the education and private sector. Um, yeah, active on Twitter. Um, and then I'm wanting to learn more about like Azure and WVD and sort of reached out to Shabazz and we've come up with this series. So I'm looking forward to, uh, yeah, going from literally nothing um, I know about WVD. I know kind of what it is as a concept, but how you deploy it, I've never done it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good series. Can you uh, can you spell it, though? Can you spell WVD? That's the question. WVD. Uh, possibly, maybe by the end of the 10 episodes, we should. <laughs> but, hey, let's see, right? That's the aim, to be able to spell WVD for the end of the 10 10 episodes. Exactly. I like it. I like it. Um, so, excellent. So this is just going to be a bit of an introduction, if I'm honest with you, Simon. Um, we're not going to get too technical at the moment. Just want to, sure. for our people who are watching, want to give a bit of a breakdown of what they can expect in the 10 episodes. Um, just before we get started, we're very fortunate that we've actually got a sponsor for this video series. Um, so I just want to yeah. do a quick, quick minute talking about the sponsor. So a massive thank you to our sponsor for this video series, PolicyPack. PolicyPack is a modern desktop management platform for the anywhere workforce. PolicyPack provides a powerful policy creation, management and deployment framework that extends the policy management, security, automation and reporting capabilities found within Windows Active Directory, Unified Endpoint Management Solutions, MDM providers, virtualization platforms and cloud services. Policy pack comes with packs, each with its own set of customizable policies that enables IT and teams to solve today's most significant desktop management challenges like remote work, Windows 10 management, GPO sprawl, ransomware, group policy management and more. Policy pack lowers IT costs, increases security, improves compliance, reduces GPOs and puts the IT admin back in charge. PolicyPack has hundreds of customers, over a million deployed seats, and has incorporated 5,000 recognized company and a G2 crowd high performer. For more information, visit www.policypack.com or you can follow them on Twitter at PolicyPack. Of course, as normal, all their links will be in the description of the video. So yeah, again, massive thank you for, for PolicyPack for, for uh, sponsoring the video. Um, please do go check them out. Um, so as I said, this is episode one in the Zero to Hero um, WVD series. Um, we are going to be using the hashtag of, um, you can see it at the bottom there, WVD Zero to Hero. We'll be using the hashtag. So by all means, use that hashtag to keep up to date with, with uh, the videos and our content. Uh, and the, the entire series is going to be myself and Simon. So I've obviously got a lot more experience within uh, WVD. I've done multiple deployments, both private and public sector. Um, so I'm going to be going through all the content. Simon is, is like a sponge with this stuff. So he's going to be taking it all in, asking me questions, hopefully, no matter how simple or complicated. Hopefully not too complicated. So I can answer that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, but the main thing is we're going to have fun while we're doing it. Um, me and Simon have known each other for about a year and a half now. Um, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, I'd like to call him my friend. I hope he thinks the same. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is this is just something that we, we both, if I'm honest with you, Simon kind of had the light bulb moment with this one. And I was like, you know what? Let's make it happen. So here we are. 
Yeah. Uh, WVD Zero to Hero. Um, so just a bit of a breakdown, really, Simon. This is what we're going to go through in, in the series. Obviously, this is the introduction. Yeah. This is just kind of touching on uh, what technologies we can we can look forward to. So see there, episode two. Again, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a mixture of theory and practical. If I'm honest with you, what what I don't want to do is I don't want to just start deploying WVD and thinking, well, what's that? Why is that important? Well, what, what's that yeah. got to do with WVD? Windows Virtual Desktop is, as, as we'll discuss in, in episode two, is is a is a kind of service, is a is a service in Azure. But it, what make, the beauty about it is that the way it integrates with the rest of the Azure ecosystem. So you notice there, we're going to be talking about planning for WVD. So we're not just going to be looking at the host pools or anything like that. We're going to be looking at the network, all that side of it, the identity, all the planning that goes into Windows Virtual Desktop. Because it's not as simple as just deploying it quickly, you know, without without having to think of the wider ecosystem. Yeah. Then we're actually going to be deploying the infrastructure. So again, we're not even we're not even touching WVD yet. It's episode four, and we won't even touch anything on WVD. We'll be deploying some infrastructure, so we'll get into a bit of practical there. Um, you know, the the identity management part, the network, all that side of it, and we'll be explaining some of the decisions that we're making along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, episode five, which is where we're going to start looking at the images. So again, another important part of any VDI platform is the image you use. Um, every company has their own sort of golden image, traditional golden image. You know, WVD is no different. You can have your own sort of image and look at image management and create an image as well. Episode six is where we maybe start getting a bit closer to WVD and we look at Azure files and FS logics. Uh, I think you know RDS quite well, um, Simon, yeah. so FS logics might be a bit more familiar to you. Um, yeah, I've, I've used it once or twice before when I did some VDI building for um, a job I had, which was all based on VMware. So, yeah, I know kind of what it can and can't do. Yeah, excellent. So that might be a bit more familiar, but it integrates with Azure Files and okay. the identity management piece as well. So we'll look at that. Finally, in Episode 7, we'll actually get to some WVD stuff and deploy host calls. Cool. And again, we'll go through like an explanation of why we we're selecting certain things. Sure. And today, we'll go into some app. App publishing. So there's various ways you can you can deploy apps, and we'll discuss those um, the theory side of it and do a bit of practical app deployment as well. Um, episode nine security. I know we're leaving it towards the end, but it's major. It's a big part yeah. of any infrastructure. WVD is no different. So we'll be looking at not just the um, security from an Azure perspective, but looking at identity security as well. How do we secure mm -hmm. that? Um, and finally, we'll be looking at WVD monitoring. So Again, this is this isn't uh, those again those two subjects aren't really WVD so to speak. They're the ecosystem, yeah. um, and and what what I'll actually be looking at is actually custom dashboards with Azure Monitor and Log Analytics. So this is something that um, I've I've done for for clients in the past. So it's 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 a nice little add-on, um, yeah. and that'll be our ten episodes. Now I want to keep it fluid. If along the way we have somebody who wants us to do an episode on a, another topic, which you know I might not have thought of then great, I'm happy to do that. So, you know, for those people that are watching, please do leave us comments um, if you want to see anything specific. Um, and again, we can add an episode to, towards the end. At the moment, it's just 10 episodes, but we're happy to do some add-ons at the end. Yeah, definitely. So that's that's what they can expect in this in this series, really, Simon. Um, I just cool. want to a quick introduction, introduce you, introduce the concept. Um, Everything that I'm going to be talking about is from my own experience. If you want to know, you know, the best practice way and the step-by-step -step way to do things, there's loads of Microsoft documents that will help you with that. Um, I'm not here to, to, to talk about how Microsoft asks you to do it. I'm here to explain my own experience in the real world, what I've done, and hopefully, mm -hmm. man, that will help you understand a bit about how to deploy yeah. in the real world. Um, because again, for all the best in the world, Microsoft have best practice recommendations, keyword in recommendations. It's not always yeah. possible to follow those. Sometimes yeah, you have to no, think, definitely. Yeah, sometimes you have to think outside the box, and I'm hoping that's what we can do. Yeah. So um, that's just a quick introduction, mate. This, this is obviously the first episode, just nice, short, and sweet. Um, yeah. I'm hoping we can do. We'll have an episode every every, uh, every week, and and as I said. Um, Looking forward to it, mate. So, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I am as well. Thank you for joining me on this first episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Cool. Uh, and me and Simon will catch you in episode two. Bye. See you later.